Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Kent, and I'm a teacher at a inner city high school in the, um, Richmond, Virginia. If you're new here, I love all things digital, and today I wanted to show you how I was customizing my home screen of my iPad. Now, I've done this on my iPhone, and I absolutely love it. Now, you may say that it is pointless because um, you can really use what they already have for you to customize, but what I'm about to show you to me is really neat, and it also allows you to change the icons across the bottom of your iPad. So as you can see right here, I have a folder with a lot of my work files in here as far as the um, apps that I need to use for work. But it's like the images are in this little square. And what I want to do is create a drop-down menu. So if you can see this icon right here that's pink, when I tap on it, it literally gives me a list instead of having the icons on this folder and also what it does is it allows you to customize the icon so that it, it kind of looks different now this icon right here is very plain but what i want to show you is that we can go to canva and we can kind of create our own icons and so i've been playing around with this a little bit so i typed in iphone or um, ipad icons and these came up as you can see there's some here here or here and what you want to do is click on the one that you want and then other ones will pop up as well right and so what you want to do is create the icons and you can change these guys you can customize it as you can see i've been playing on it so what we're going to do is we're going to add a page right and then we're going to click on one of these aesthetics here and say you wanted it to say words, then you would just click clock. All right, and so clock up here, but then you could actually type and change the font. You can change the color. I definitely don't like this background. So I might wanna make everything black. That's cute. You can make it pink and you can change it how you would like, okay? And then you can also mix and match with the different icons. go back to design. I was trying to figure out how to do it. And so maybe the next one I might want to do in, a, in another, you know, font, font or another format. You see how you have all the, oh, that's cute, right? And you can have music or you can change it to like social media, which is what I want to do for today. So we're going to make that social media. And next, what I want to do is download these to my um, iPad and see if it works. Save 18 images. Now, I'm not, not use them all, but they're going to save every one that you created, right? And I was playing with this earlier, so it's going to save all of these to my photos. So once I go to my photos, look, they're already there. So now what I wanna do is create a folder for social media so that when I click on it, it's gonna be a drop down menu. Now I did not come up with this. I've been watching different YouTube videos and I'm trying to learn how to maximize my iPad so that it's convenient and it's also fun and creative as well. And so the first thing you wanna do is go to your shortcuts. All right, to me, it's really simple. It did take me a few tries to make sure I learned how to do it. But you're going to hit the plus sign, and you're going to type in choose from menu. Choose you know why it's not popping up. See that little comma right there? So it should pop up when you start typing in choose. Choose from menu, and it's going to give you two options, right? And so what we want to do is click here, and we want to type in your social media. Now, you could use it for any of your apps. So that's TikTok. I'm old, so I still do Facebook. And we're going to add another one. I have Snapchat. Okay. Um, I have Messenger for Facebook. To me, that's so, so, um All right, the next one might be, oh, X. I forget about that one. All right, and if there's any more, you can always go back and re-add them. So once you've listed everything you want to be in your drop-down menu, then you want to go back over here and type in open app. Now, you're going to have to do this for every 
one of your drop downs. So we're going to do open app and see right here, we're going to add it. Now I need one, two, three, four, five open apps. So I'm going to just go ahead and get my five open app. I think this is so cool. I really do like it. I like the menu. I like it better than the folder. One, two, three, four. The one more. You could do this um, one at a time, but I like to go ahead and just get all of my. Now you're going to take the open app and move it under TikTok. So remember, when you type TikTok, it created this drop down over here. And so we're going to move it under Facebook. We're going to move it under Snapchat. We're going to move it under Messenger. Oh, I think I need one more. And we're going to move it under X. Now you have to tell the app to open it. So we're going to click on app and we're going to type in TikTok. It should pop up. And then now that's set up for you. Then we're going to type in, what's the next one? Facebook. We don't want it to say audible. Okay, the next one is Snapchat. And so I'm pulling my apps in and telling it to open it. Snap. Did I spell that wrong? I might not have Snapchat on here. So I don't think I have Snapchat on here. So I'm going to delete this one. Delete. All right. And so the next one will be Messenger. There we go. That's messages. I don't want that. I might not have messenger. I take some of this stuff off. Okay. So I don't have that one on here. It's on my phone, but it might not be on here. So we're going to delete that one. I might not have X on here either. That's okay. And if I want to go back and add them later, then I can. All right. And so X is the next one. I don't know if I have X on here. Nope. I don't have it. So I don't have much social media on. So I'm just going to delete that one off too. Looks like I only have TikTok and Facebook. I'm going to have to go back and check. What about Instagram? IG, let's type that in. Because I know I go on IG. All right, let's move open app under IG. It has to be right under it. Type here, clear variable. I don't know what that means, but let's go ahead and do that. All right, and then we're going to type in Instagram. Trying to see what I do have on here. I don't look like I have IG on here either. Oh, there you go. So I do have those three. Okay, now what I want to do now, so I did choose from menu, open app, and now I'm going to go here and I'm going to rename it to social media. Okay, and then the next thing I want to do after I rename it, I want to go, it took it off. This little, that little thing, black line come up. If anybody know how to get that off my screen, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, now we want to choose an icon, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to choose. I want to add it to home screen. When I add it to home screen, I'm going to pick pick a picture so choose a photo and I created social media I want to use it add and now it should be look at that guys look at that now if you already have your social media down here on your drop down so I have TikTok um, I have some other stuff I want to take it off my home screen because as I as you as you read position them under the different drop downs you want to take it off oh i had pinterest i'm not sure how i want to do that yet so um remove app from home screen i don't have facebook or anything else on this list right here so that's good so when i hit social media look and when i tap facebook it's going to take me right to it when i go to social media you want to test them out i don't know what that is social media i want to hit tiktok it's going to take me straight to tiktok so what I did was I went to Canva and I created the icon down at the bottom. I hope you can see it. And then once I got the icon created in Canva, 
what I did. And I want to change all of these out. So I'm going to show you once I finish customizing. And I kind of like this purple. If we go back to Canva, you can see it better. So I can go back and create all my drop downs. I can create them and then re-download them. So, it, you know, and you can play around with it till you get it where you like it. And this is free. So you can cut, you can change the background like you like mail, but you don't want that background. All you got to do is go up there, click, that's the, for the, um, click the box and change the color, right? If you want to make it green, um, and purple, however you want to do it, you can change, you can change the font. Just click on it and they go to font. Feel free to change it and you can play around with it. I hope you have fun with this. And if you do, just drop down in the comment what you think about it or if you'll be changing your iPad. And don't forget, this works on your iPhone. Same steps. I changed all my little icons on my phone. And I'm going to tell you, the phone is the best way because we only get four little slots for our phone. So then you can have a drop down menu and I'll insert a, a screen record of my phone where you can see where I created my icons. I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. And if you have, drop me a little heart let's do purple and i'll see y'all in the next one guys this is a screen record of my phone and as you can see i'm clicking on from left to right so we're starting out with the thumbs up that's my favorites the next one is a list of my social media and then the last one is a list of the food places that i use there um, app. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please drop them below. And like I said before, have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.